Okay, listen, you're going to absolutely love this short story I wrote. I'm going to jump straight into it without wasting any time. And it starts with a man who ran this successful business as a steamed car manufacturer. And in a time came, he was hiring a position in his company. And one man came in very interested in the job. And he came highly recommended with all his great qualifications he had and prior plenty of prior experience so he was immediately offered the job offered the entire contract with all the benefits and the next day immediately began the job the day started halfway through the day he just walked out and the boss never even got to find out why he left when they lost the initiative or he got a better offer elsewhere or actually didn't have the expertise required to carry out the job however at the same time this man started there there was also another man who had come for a trial he had no qualifications whatsoever no experience but he just picked up the work and, and he kept on working he had not uh, yet been given any contract no assurance that he was going to get the job or let alone even get paid which is now even unlikely because the position was now already filled but he had already been invited for the interview uh, though the tryout was supposed to be brief even just to see if he was up for, up for doing the job or even if uh, he knew what was required from the job however no one realized that he just kept on working throughout the entire day him also proving to himself that he was fit for the job and at the end the boss walked in to discover that his recent initially hired recognized employee had walked out to his disappointment but then he sees this other applicant who seems who seemed to have missed the memo somehow that the job position had already been filled but he's the one who's actually done the work required without even asking for the terms of employment the boss was really impressed and could not believe his luck so he hired the services of this honorable man and that's the story guys that's the story and i love to point to references and my inspirations from the bible even though i share these uh, stories from a modern setting but my inspiration is from the word of god because the word of god is still relevant as relevant today as back then uh so Uh, one of the scriptures from Ephesians uh, 4 chapter 1 and 2 Paul writing to the Ephesians and he says I therefore the prisoner in the Lord beg you to walk worthily of the calling with which you were called with all lowliness and humility with patience bearing with one another in love I love this so much you know it's like he's asking them to walk worthily of the calling with which they were called and with this I've come to this conclusion in my life that because so many times we focus on the calling you know we and uh personally I've I've dwelt on this in my own life a lot about uh God's calling upon my life you know is there a calling from God upon my life uh, and I uh, imagine what that looks like and i've had so many pictures of what that looks like uh to be in god's service to be used by god and i guess if you're a christian and you love god it's a estimable thing you know to 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 want to be called by god to want to be used by god i don't think there's a greater desire one can have than that but many times the picture we have is all like It's all a bed of roses, you know. It's like everything is just going to be so smooth and we're just going to be walking in the grace of God and favor. You know, it's following our lives and you know we're going to be uh, standing on a tall pulpit and you know and uh this just, you know, this I don't know. This vision of grandeur or you know and and it's quite 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 a contrast when you read especially when you read Paul him writing to these people the Ephesians he's preached to and want to Christ and he is saying he considers himself a prisoner of the Lord and I love Paul and how he was willing to serve God 
And many times you see how you'd boast of his weaknesses. You'd boast of the things you'd endure for the gospel, the way he was beaten and and uh, shipwrecked and all the difficulties that he faced in his ministry. Do you know to show you that it's not all you know a bed of roses it's not all smooth and plain sailing it's, but he says to the Ephesians he's writing to that you're called you are called but walk worthily of the calling with which you were called so I've come to this conclusion in my life that it's not about the calling but that you qualify for the calling okay uh, it's, it's, it's very, don't be excited to get the call before you're willing to do the work uh do you know and and uh, and i think it's a lot for one thing i've had to adjust in my life and uh i have a picture of what god called me to do and up to now i've not really i've not really attained that but one thing i i do is i've adjusted and since I had this sense of God's call upon my life many many years ago and not realizing it I started to do something else and I never ever imagined I would be playing the guitar never ever imagined you know that I could stand in front of people and play the guitar and, and minister the gospel even through song I never ever ever that was never in my mind or in my imagination you know but when that time came and even now I feel like that is that was that just became the logical step for me to take the gospel in that way and since I had this desire to serve God and it's not the picture I was shown but I sh- I asked myself this question and every day I wake up I ask myself this question what can I do today because sometimes it's not given to us to know the times the seasons God has set in store for us and sometimes we can live just in worry for tomorrow we're so anxious about the future about what's going to happen tomorrow uh, but there's a whole process in between that we don't see that unless we start sowing the seeds today you know so it says do not despise the day of small beginnings so it's when we start with the with the simple things that god has given us and before i couldn't play the guitar until a few years ago and and is taking that and starting to take that little something god has given you and putting it to use and i think i play sim- i if up to now i think i play really simply i don't i'm not very talented at it i actually have to put work into it but you know but i think the idea is that faithfulness and qualifying yourself and not so much on the calling Uh, something else Jesus said in the gospels uh Jesus said uh, once that many are called but a few are chosen and Jesus said uh said this uh, at the back of uh, a story he had shared about about uh, the uh, the wedding banquet the kingdom of heaven being like a, a king who had this who set up this banquet and invited uh, guests but uh, those that were invited they made light of it and they went about their own ways one to his own farm another to his own merchandise uh you know and then the king was very raw and then he said to the to the servants to his servants the wedding is ready but those who were invited weren't worthy go therefore to the intersections of the highways and as many as you may find invite to the marriage feast and i just love this because those who were initially invited weren't worthy those who were initially invited weren't worthy they made light of it they had other concerns in their lives and now this invitation is extended to anybody to as many as they could find the servants and uh, so i want to stress on this again uh, you might be questioning 
Are you, am I really called by God? I want to tell you that this invitation is also to you. And when we talk about the calling out, I think about two things. And one is, is in our walk, is the calling. So he says, I beg you to walk worthily of the calling with which you were called. So it's about our walk with God. And I also think about our service towards God towards God's kingdom. Later on in this story Jesus shared of the wedding banquet, when the wedding begins, as when all the people had been invited, they come across this man who is not dressed up in the correct attire and he ends up being punished and thrown out to the darkness where there's weeping and gnashing of teeth. So again, you see this insistence of qualifying ourselves for the calling. Uh, so it still stands that even when we have received the calling, it's not enough to say, I've now become a Christian and that's enough. We still have to qualify ourselves and prove ourselves worthy of that call, wherewith we are called. Uh, to conclude, uh, I also want to share the prayer also Paul makes uh, to the Thessalonians in his second letter. He says, Wherefore, we pray always for you, that our God would count you worthy of this calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness and the work of faith with power that the name of our Lord Jesus Christ may be glorified in you and all of you in him according to the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I hope you're blessed, guys. Thank you so much.